Oh, shit. What's up, guys? How you doing? It's those Kevs, a.k.a. Cast1187, a.k.a. Kevin. Ah, just wanted to bring a little quick video for you guys. Um, new little uh, how-to section that's about to be on my channel. And the first topic we are going to cover is beards. So if you can't grow a beard, I'm sorry. This video isn't for you. Man up. Learn to grow one. Um, if you can, however, and you're curious, um, I walk around all the time. A lot of people always talk about my beard, ask me about my beard. So, um, you know, I'm just giving some tips because, you know, I do cut hair as well. And people are always asking, like, how, you know, how to get the beard like this, how to get your beard like that, whatever, whatever. And I'm um, sorry if you guys hear my dogs walking around. But, um, you know, I've tried a lot of products and ultimately I've narrowed it down to two. So I'll tell you everything you need and what to do. Basically, all you need is a brush, soft, you know, depends on what you like, but board bristle brush, nothing crazy, comb, this is optional, razor, you did see, you guys did see this on the, uh, one of my unopenings or unboxings recently, um, but this is if you're, if you're comfortable with, you know, lining up your beard, I don't know if you guys can see, but it go, you know, I do it all, so, um, but, uh, this is not necessary, okay, you can grow a beard without this, this is just to make it, you know, have some nice shape to it, um, but the two products I was going to tell you guys real quick, Maestro's Classic, all right, beard butter and beard wash, all right, I've been using this now, this is my, um, this is my third year keeping a beard for a long time, um, like my third winter-ish season, and, I started using this last year. The first year I experimented with a lot of beard oils and they were cool, um, but they ran out. And you know, you have to use a lot if you grow a thicker beard. Now my beard might not look thick on camera because of the product, all right? You put the beard butter in there and it, and it you know, it weighs it down nice and nice and makes it nice and soft. You know what I mean? So, um, but if you can see, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this here, but my beard is pretty long, and it gets, you know, it gets a little, uh, gets a little out of hand. Um, so, but with this, it keeps it down, makes it, you know, makes it look nice. Um, if you, and they're not expensive to start, $12, 12 or 13 each, um, and you can actually get this at Target now. They uh, just recently expanded and got, got picked up by a lot more stores. Um, before you used to have to find them at barber shops and shit like that, but uh, Target, Target has them now. And I would say, if you're strapped for cash, maybe you're in college and you can only afford one of the two, go with the wash. Okay, I started with just the wash and noticed a crazy difference right away. It softens up your, uh, softens up the hairs, um, and it foams up, so it's real fun to use. You squirt just a little bit in your hair, maybe like a quarter size, if that nickel size. Do it up. I do it when I'm in the shower. Get it in there. It gets real foamy. And, you know, at the end of it, you can really feel the difference after just one or two uses. And that's not exaggerating. Um, but if you have the money, get both. Because when you're out of the shower, you know, you step in. You're going to use this beard butter. And, you know, it's a similar. Same same stuff that the oils do. It's just not an oil. So, um, it's not going to, you know, be all, like, all oily on your fingers or you know if you spill it hard to clean up or anything like that it's more like a cream and um so after you apply this that's where this brush comes in okay i did i did skip a step before you go in the shower what i like to do is just kind of run the comb through and make sure that there's no knots right and then when you're washing um you come you know you come out the shower put the beer butter all you need is a brush and i'm serious you, if you ever drive by me on the road, you'll see me uh, brushing my beard a lot. Just it just keeps it, you know, keeps it flowing in a nice direction, and it you know makes it look nice. Um, so most of you are probably trying to grow a beard because you want to impress the ladies. So if you follow these steps, you should do just fine. A lot of you ugly motherfuckers can look pretty decent with a beard, at least according to a lot of these girls. So. Um, if you're like me, you don't have that problem, beard or no beard, but you're probably not like me. That's why you're watching this. So, um, like I said, brush, comb, Maestro's, okay? Maestro's Classic, beard wash, 
beard butter. Most important, do the wash, okay? Don't put shampoo on your face, all right? Your, your skin on your face is not meant to take the shampoo, uh, the chemicals that are in shampoo. So these are, you know, these ingredients are here are a lot less harsh on, on your skin. Most important, okay? But if you get both, do it, all right? Um, and like I said, brush and a comb, this optional, all right? If you guys want to learn how to shape up your beard and stuff, leave it in the comments and, you know, maybe one day I'll try to get a, uh, you know, a, um, a video. Obviously, you saw the Elegance Shave Gel video. I do use that right now, but I could do it with just water. I just get my, I, normally I just get my uh, cheek a little wet, go straight. It's not hard. Um, but anyway, quick video. Hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And that's it.